Hello friends, welcome to Wavescript and in this video I'm going to share source code of Inventor system and I'm going to tell you how you can download that source code and how you can set up an uh, entire file in your system. It's all because few days ago I have uploaded our Inventor system playlist uh, where you can learn Inventor system but uh, those who are directly downloading the entire source code from the, the website uh, they are facing problem like when they are trying to register and they are in the same page they are not moving in the different page it's just continuously a loading loading and loading so that's why i'm uploading this video to solve your problem and there was also a bug which i fixed and re-upload the entire files so you can get it from uh, you can re-download all the files from there so for that you need to log in in this website right so just i'm already registered so i'm just going to log in and okay locked and successful and there are lots of posts now okay there are lots lots of posts so uh what how can you get that you can search uh, view more and you can look for the php code and people and code kind of thing or simply you can type here inventory that's my project search it and you can see there is only one project inventory management system using php mysql jquery ajax bootstrap just click here let it scroll and uh, there are lots of comments all of them are talking about the same thing like path they're facing problem in path some of you are not able to see the errors where you can see those errors so just uh, whenever you are facing that kind of situation means no error just inspect your browser like this and go to console tab and here you can see error and uh, okay this is not related to this and this is different so after uh, when i do the same thing and i'm getting this error yeah i, I want to show what error you may get so you may get uh, you may get this error failed to load resource the server responded with a status of 404 this simply means file not found means the file uh, when you are trying to register and it's a request sent to the server and it is looking for a file and there was no file it's all because of your right wrong path you have given wrong path so let's download the file so it is downloading and there is extra bracket one it is because of i have already downloaded it once just show in folder and here it is so just delete the previous one and rename it and it is just imb project right okay you can't uh, the action can be completed why i can rename it again okay let's copy it from here or maybe cut and uh, if you are using XAMPP or WAMP just go to your PC C RAV drive and for XAMPP look for XAMPP for WAMP look for WAMP coincide for WAMP look for the folder called triple W for XAMPP look for the folder HTDOC coincide and I'm going to paste the zip file here. Okay, it's done. Now I'm renaming, trying to rename it again. And rename is done. Let's extract all. And this is the folder. It's HT Docs. Always remember this is the root of your XAMPP server. Everything starts from here. So after extracting, you have folder INB project. And I will also tell you why you are getting that error. So here is HTDocs INB project. This is the entire root of the project. Go inside. And there is a folder database. The important files are constants, db, project, INB as well. This is a SQL file. You need to import this in your PHP admin. Go to in constants, edit with notepad++. And here it is 
server so it is local host i'm not uh, using live server so it is just local host for jam or ram or for anything for lamp also and this is the name of database so i want this name i don't want to change it here i need to change it it, it was my previous project so that was it at that time it was and underscore project but now it is normal imd project no underscore just remove it save that's it you can see here also when you go there and you can see and view project right and uh, just go back and js folder main edit with notepad plus plus and here it is you can see and view underscore project just remove underscore save close it and go to manage edit with any text editor you can use I'm just for simplicity I'm using this text editor save and order rename it save so all the paths are done right you don't need to change anything here it is here our folder HT docs and the project public underscore HTML and there are database so remember this name project underscore and sql open your browser type your server in my case it is simple local host no port nothing php my admin this is my mysql database click on database create a database so uh you remember i have shown you what was the name of database it was let me show you once again or oh, it is okay it is project underscore and we copy it and, and simply paste here so it is done and press the create button i already have a database with the name project underscore and v so in my case i don't need to create once again it is already have just created and uh, in then you have this project underscore INV in your list and here it is project underscore INV. just click here and don't worry about what's inside this project underscore INV. it will be blank in your case just click on this project underscore INV once and click on import and choose file and uh, here database in, you know, within the project folder Go inside database and there is project name for inv.sql. Click open and you can see I have imported that file. Sorry, I have selected SQL file and just press go. After pressing go, you have all this similar tables, brands, categories, invoice, invoice details, products, users, all set. Okay, but I can press it because I already have those tables. It's my project. So we have, I already have. After doing these steps, just go here or in your project folder, just go back and this is the root of your project. Just copy this entire path, copy, browser, paste here. So it, uh, root is start from here, hdocs is the root, this is the root and this is the project folder and uh, it's it C drive. So I'm going to change this to localhost forward slash and just press enter rest of the thing system will do fine just just click on register if you want to create an account type here like uh, i want to create x men sorry so x men will be our admin password Choose a type, register, and you may saw error. It's because of, but ultimately your file will run. Uh, your you have done right. You are registered now. You can log in. So I'm using the email address x name at the rate cmail.com. 
explain at gmail.com and password will be locked in. Now you are in dashboard, you are done, and just see here. Here is our file folder called in PDF invoice, right? Coincide, and there are a few files already there, so don't care about that. New orders, or you may add orders like here from here. Can add order. You can uh, just take a order like uh, what I can add. I'm just forgetting everything. Now. So there is uh, let's let's add a new product like machine, and it is root right. Just click submit, then this will be added. And in, under machine, you can add lots of things, making machine as a root. Uh, and you can manage those also. There are a lot of lists. Similarly, we have brands, and then we can add products also. So let's create invoice. The main important thing. Create or suppose there are a customer waiting for the invoice. So let's make. Uh, let's uh, and he has bought something. So I'm going to create an invoice for him, and his name is just uh, Nico. He has bought Samsung Galaxy three piece, and he has bought on an i two piece. Done. Discount. I want to give him discount, right? Give him five thousand discount, and let's paid. Due zero payment type cash order, and it is asking, do you want to print invoice? Okay, fine, print it. That's here. Our invoice is ready. So hope you like it. And once you go in database, so there is invoice. Our customer name. You might forget, but I remember. And here it is. Our customer is Nico. He has date like 2018 and subtotal, and he we have given discount of five thousand paid amount. Now I want to know what he has bought. There is just total amount, sub amount, and cash. I want to know what he has bought. So here is invoice number is sixty two. Just go in details. If you are interested, you can further extend this project at an at an infinite level. So here it is. So there is ID like uh, uh, Nico ID was sixty two. Yes, the Nico invoice number was sixty two. So here it is sixty two. He has bought, bought something galaxy prices and quantity is there on an iron price quantity is there hope you like it hope you love it and just that's it that's all and okay that's let me log out and show you you may enter, you may take interest so you can create your account in this website you can upload your stuff you can help other people like me and uh, here it is uh, if you are interested you may tell what uh, how much you are lucky to have uh, this uh, project or anything you might uh, write here right if you're interested or that's here how it works join us write your post promote your stuff if you're a youtuber if you're a freelancer you can do a lot of things here uh, here we have lots of programming categories you can upload there so okay good luck goodbye take care take yourself